Hello guys, and welcome back to Quantum Conundrum, where we play part two of this wonderful game. Um, let's see where we are here. Loading the dimension. Fucking stuff. Ah, that's Why are we Dolly. Back here? Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add That's too many voice dialing. to her to keep everything consistent. Again. No. Fuck off. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Alright, I, I guess I'll get back to where I was and then we'll actually do this video. Fuck you. All right. It says checkpoint saved. Okay. Uh, we're back. We're back to where we were before, in this room. So um, let's get going, I guess. So we're just gonna put this here. Door's gonna open. Hello, tubes of fluid. And we just oh. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Ike. That's a bike. Nice badass. Alright. Ike, did you miss... No, oh, it's these pedals again. Those are really weird. Um. There's a safe. So we... So we... Throw it over. There we are. We... Yes, okay. Rinse and repeat. Good job. Okay. Is it safe? Oh, there's the safe point. Should have stopped there. <sighs> oh well. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. Okay. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Oh. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. Autonomously. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the Underground Railroad. This Disney. machine single-handedly won the Civil War. <laughs> not, not really. No, of course not really, because the Underground Railroad wasn't made of steel, stupid. You built the wrong thing! Oh, I made my own modifications to my great-grandfather's designs. The current so Dolly the specifications do not require any raw materials. For example, Dolly converts energy from the radioactive science juice directly into matter. Science juice. Oh, that's I what... Never oh, so it's of science, science juice. Of things. Oh, well, you can never have too many safes, or chairs, or, um, coffee, coffee tables. tables. Coffee tables, of course. Words of wisdom, you can never have too many objects that let me actually get through this game. Error is in this game. I feel like that's a pun. Okay, so... In case you're wondering, you turned on a fan. Ike, <laughs> and if we make it lighter, it'll shoot straight into our brains, right? Uh, yes, you missed. And we've got three switches here, so we'll just put them here and there. Thank you, Dolly. Excellent. Okay. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Awkward Noise Generator. So it's meowing at me and it has a cat inside. How cute. Excellent. Alright, I think we just jump out this window. Alright, I see a picture up there, so let's go see Standard what happens. Issue really. So much. That's a portrait of my father, Papa Wilfred Zap Quadra. <laughs> he was I guess he just gets a super beer or something. to capture Sputnik and replace it with a basketball. The Soviets never noticed, 
probably because the basketball got better reception. Oh, that's a burn, I think. All right, so this laser here for? I don't care. Put this on here. And that will open that door, and then we can just hop up here, right? Yep. Well done. So I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. Limbo? I as in the I game? Can explore a bit and see what turns up. I'm exploring too, man. I feel your pain. Uh, Alright, so I've got Fluffy. And I'm gonna break this window with a, a couch. Well, now <laughs> you're just crying out for attention. Two for one. Suck it. And then. Button. And that drops a save. And can we we can jump on it and then up oh, yeah oh oh assuming you don't screw up oh. and now we need to uh, hit the switch so we need to grab that all right good job I feel like these are sort of they draw a parallel to companion cubes. Because wherever I go, the safe will always help me. Button. Thank you, Dolly. Now do I... Can I... Ah! And, uh, by the way, when you push a button again, it resets everything, I think. Or so I've... seems a little... I'm not sure how we could do that if we're still our same mass, how it would hold up, but whatever, I guess. Alright. So that goes up there. And we'll get a fan so we can... That box doesn't want to go. Can we make a staircase? A staircase of pseudo-companion cubes? Yes! Science! Oh, look, a picture. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he turns into a bunny suit. I really like this game. Uh, alright. So I'll just drop it there. La 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 la. Whee! Wow. I got some of that momentum. Got some mad hops. Some mad black guy hops. But I won't say that because it's racist. Oh, sorry, Dolly. That just doesn't look possible to me. I'm gonna try that again. And what the hell? Can we? Is that really where they... Okay. Let's see how this goes. I don't even know how I'm standing on that. I don't understand how that... Physicality of that still completely baffles me. That's exactly what I was just saying. Quadrangle. Stop being such a douchebag. Alright, see, that's way cleaner. Whatever. So we jump onto this guy. Jump on that guy. And then just walk off. Excellent. Job well done. Thank you, dollies. There's a lot of dollies in this game. Oh, we're saving. Hey, it's stretchy dog. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intrigue sure this time. results. Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. Full so they're actually I a stretchy her dog. Angstrom. You know, come to think of it, it reminds me of this toy from the 80s. Stretch. Girl, yeah, it's from stretch something. Wait, he remo Is it she or he? Stretch, stretch, stretch Armstrong? That's funny. Um, 
This also reminds me of that slinky dog from Toy Story. I can't remember his name from my life, but... That's actually... I really like Angstrom. It's a hilarious reference to basically everything. Alright. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimension is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or Heavy for short. Heavy. This dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension Hello, and will make things ten times heavier. Whoa. Okay, so metal. What are those for? I don't know. Oh, and ice over there. Um So all this wiring goes over to these switches. So I guess each one corresponds to a different I can't pick these boxes up. Oh, alright. Alright, so we only get three, so we're gonna have to do some guessing, I guess. So we'll just put them there. And we'll see where this goes. Now so, just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful. It's this one, so we're just gonna follow this back really quick. But oh goes this way, bends that way, turns there, goes there. Ah! Okay. Still following it. It's this one, this one. Alright, so this is the one that's wrong, so let's just forgotten which dolly is hooked up to which power converter. Do your magic, Desmond. We're all, all waiting on you. Such a disappointment. Okay. Alright, cool. So then we can... Oh, we go up there and then jump off. Ah! I see. Desmond, if you... I'll be so frustrated. I don't like it. I like a bit shy. Me too. I'm a bit shy. So it's all good. Some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're right now, and also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. This is my favorite cat. I'm gonna call him Sprinkles. I love Sprinkles. <laughs> going now, Sprinkles. I'll see you later. That fish again. Alright, so we cool. And then can we and we can oh. So that is. red battery will provide enough energy to enable the IDS device so, to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Okay, so red is heavy, pink is fluffy, so we can just toss this up here. Alright. And then if we put the box right here, so I can carry this without fluffy. Fluffy doesn't do anything for that. And Heavy makes it as heavy as safe, I guess, so... It, it appears this dolly got stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate. Why'd you get Ike? Why you shoot Ike? Play nice, dolly. Alright, so if we... If we switch on Heavy, it'll break the glass? Oh. Let it die first. Right, there we are. Alright, so now if we take this and throw it at the glass while it's heavy. What's going on? Alright, throw it heavy. There, good, got it. Sorry, I switched to fluffy because that's what you usually do. Just switch to fluffy and then switch back. So, heavy for the little guys. There seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Yeah, I have no idea where you are, Quadrant. Are those hard candies? They're a little... fuzzy. Ugh. Pleasant. Fuzzy hard candy? Are you eating them? 
All right, so if we use this one. Nice job. No, not really. It explodes my laser. Or the laser explodes. Um, <coughs> what if we do heavy? With the increased density and higher melting points of items in oh, the no, cool. quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. All right, so we can use heavy things as shields. Shields against lasers. So it's a beautiful display of fireworks. Wait, can we? Oh, I see. We have to sculpt uh, a staircase. I guess it's gonna be uh, using timing and heavy. So if we hit heavy now, then let it go. We'll just hold it for the rest of it. We get a. A neat little staircase here, which I guess we can jump up. That looks a little far, but... Oh, no, that's different. You know, for a, a skinny white boy, you have mad hearts. I came game. across Ike some time oh, ago, Ike. and he decided to follow me back to the manor. Thank you, Ike. <laughs> Lamps. Windows. Awkward noise generator. This guy's a uh, groaning. Uh. Uh. Okay. I believe I stole <laughs> these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. Uh. Do we go down here? Ah, oh, yes. All right, so. Guess what we have to... Oh, we throw it and then switch to heavy and then... Excellent. Let's make sure it actually stays, though. Oh, that's really close. All right. Not awesome! Bad. Thanks, Bojang. You're not a douche, Rons. I like all the suits of armor. I still don't get their weapons. Why are they... Why is it bent? That looks like it would be ineffective in combat. Well, maybe there's a reason for that, but the curvy one is weird. This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington Widget the Fourth, or Fluffington. Widget the First. Widget he the somehow first. wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. I specifically constructed his monocle to fit him. Who knew it would be so impossible to find a cat-sized monocle? Preposterous! Sadly, Widget the First has since passed on, but his memory is oh, alive. How sad. Somewhat. Oh, so these guys are clones. So I want to clarify that Dolly is great for cloning inanimate objects, but she's not entirely capable with organic ones. This is Widget's first generation clone. We named this one Colonel Fluffy McScratchers, or Widget the Second. Widget the Second is still mostly together and functional as a cat, but just a little wall-eyed. And sprinkles. I just had to pass Widget the Second through Dolly again. I just couldn't resist. It's for science. I definitely learned my lesson with this one. Technically, his name is Widget the Third, though he often responds to derp. <laughs> I often find him walking real around in circles derp. while staring at his feet. Very friendly, but possesses the intelligence of a sack of rocks. Oh, derp! Who knew? <laughs> All right, I think we're going to end it for this episode. Uh, once again, if you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, favorite. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Don't listen to me. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for part three of Quantum Conundrum. See ya.